As for furnishings, All right, Rick. his plans mm -hmm. better be more flexible. This is it. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. If I have only one friend over, two friends over, I don't want to feel as though if I'm sitting on the couch, they're all the way, way on the other side of the room. But then it also needs to be enough so that when I have my family here for Thanksgiving, there are going to be 20 people in the house. Okay. We don't have to nail the furniture in. We can actually pull it up closer to the fireplace when you want a more quaint filling. And then we can push it back when we need more space to entertain 10, 15 people. So let me show you a traditional setup. Coffee table here, two chairs here. Right, very symmetrical, very yeah. balanced. Okay, so there are a couple of things that we could do. We could actually flank some chairs around the fireplace. So this could be one sitting configuration. The other thing we could do is have two chairs here. I like that. So this would take advantage of the views. I want people to come in and really be surprised, to be uh, intrigued, and I want some people to absolutely hate it. It should be an expression. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is perfect. But who's going to buy all these chairs? <laughs> So these are the chairs that I thought might work in that room for a couple of reasons. They're small, they're compact. This would be great. Are they comfortable? They're comfortable. Let me see. I'll be the judge of that, sir. <laughs> these also come in a variety of colors. OK, well, you know, speaking of color, I love color. I'm not afraid of color. But I also don't want it to seem like a box of crayons threw up all over the place. You know? so, <laughs> OK. And so don't get gun shy on me now. No, I'm not gun shy. I, promise. <laughs> I just thought but, by adding pink and and uh, green. Well, into the you mix, started it, it with the pink rug. I so saw, now yeah, blame it on me. <laughs> that's, that's really mature, Rick. Yeah, I always think it's a little bit weird when you go into somebody's house and their living room is completely beige, you know, and then they do that one room that's the fun room. Lime green. Yeah, li right. And then it's like it's very jarring. But I like the idea right. of having color throughout the room so that it's you know sort of a little journey from room to room and having pieces right. that tie in.